Hello and welcome to my 25th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.7. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I taught you how to add a custom fuel to the game and in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about, to, to you about adding uh, custom dungeon loot. So when I say dungeon loot, I mean dungeon loot. Um, exactly what it says, when you're mining through a cave you come across a dungeon, there's loot inside of it. Um, I believe that this code works with um, with the jungle and desert temples, but I'm not actually sure. So th I know for a fact that it works with dungeons. Now it's actually very, very easy um, to add this, assuming that you already have um, the item that you want to spawn. All you need to do is add one line of code. Um, I'm going to put it inside my load method. You could put it inside another method and then just call that method um, if you want to have a miscellaneous methods type thing. But I'm going to put it at the bottom of the load method and that is dungeon hooks dot add dungeon loot. You say new item stack and then the name of your item. So in this case I'm going to do tutorial ingot the rarity of your item. So this is going to be a number from 0 to 100. Um, if you were to say 100, it would spawn with the same frequency of, say, a bucket or a saddle. If you said 0, it would not spawn at all. Um, so to give you some perspective, a bucket has rarity of 1, and a golden apple has rarity, or a bucket has rarity of 100, and a golden apple has rarity of 1. So I'm going to set this to, say, 50, um, to give it a nice, even, or central number. And then we're going to set the minimum and maximum values. So um, the minimum is obviously uh, the minimum number of them that spawn. So I'm going to, and this is in one stack. So you could theoretically have a chest with a couple stacks um, that both have the minimum amount. But I'm going to set the minimum to 5. And then the last parameter is the maximum amount. Because if you have a minimum, you need to have a maximum. So I'm just going to set this to, say, 30. So what this is going to do is it's going to spawn a tutorial ingot in every, well, in potentially every dungeon uh, with a um, rarity of half of what an iron bucket is or iron bucket, that's the only kind of bucket, um, with a minimum stack of 5 and a maximum stack of 30. Now, I would show you that this works. Um, obviously, you're going to need to generate new chunks, which usually means generating a new world to see it work, but I really just don't have time, the time or the energy to find a dungeon. Um, so I can guarantee you that this code works. I actually use it in a mod of my own, so I would not give you bad code. Um, so thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm not going. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to talk about in the next tutorial, though it'll probably be related to world generation, um, like trees and stuff. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.